Selected Poems by Siegfried Sassoon. Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk. Before Day. Come in this hour to set my spirit free, when earth is no more mine, though night goes out, and stretching forth these arms I cannot be, Lord of winged sunrise and dim Arcady when fieldward boys far off with clack and shout from orchards scare the birds in sudden rout come ere my heart grows cold and full of doubt in the still summer dawns that waken me when the first lark goes up to look for day and morning glimmers out of dreams come then out of the songless valleys over grey wide misty lands to bring me on my way for i am lone a dweller among men hungered for what my heart shall never say nineteen o nine end of poem this recording is in the public domain south wind by Siegfried Sassoon, read for LibriVox.org. Where have you been, South Wind, this May Day morning, with larks aloft, or skimming with the swallow, or with blackbirds in a green sun-glinted thicket? Oh, I heard you like a tyrant in the valley. Your ruffian haste shook the young blossoming orchards. You clapped rude hands hallooing round the chimney and white your pennon streamed along the river you have robbed the bee south wind in your adventure blustering with gentle flowers but i forgave you when you stole to me shyly with scent of hawthorn nineteen fourteen end of poem this recording is in the public domain Morning Land by Siegfried Sassoon. Read for LibriVox.org. Old English songs, you bring to me a simple sweetness somewhat kin to birds that through the mystery of earliest morn make tuneful din, while hamlet steeples sleepily at cockcrow chime out three and four, till maids get up betime and go with faces like the red sun low clattering about the dairy floor nineteen o eight end of poem this recording is in the public domain a child's prayer by siegfried sassoon read for librivox dot org for morn my dome of blue for meadows green and gay and birds who love the twilight of the leaves let jesus keep me joyful when i pray for the big bees that hum and hide in bells of flowers for the winding roads that come to evening's holy door may jesus bring me grateful to his arms and guard my innocence for evermore nineteen fourteen end of poem this recording is in the public domain dryads by siegfried sassoon read for librivox dot org when meadows are gray with the morn in the dusk of the woods it is night the oak and the beech and the pine war with the glimmer of light dryads brown as the leaf move in the gloom of the glade when meadows are gray with the morn dim night in the wood has delayed the cocks that crow to the land are faint and hollow and shrill dryads brown as the leaf whisper and hide and are still nineteen ten 
End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Noah by Siegfried Sassoon Read for LibriVox.org when old noah stared across the floods sky and water melted into one looking-glass of shifting tides and sun mountain tops were few the ship was foul all the morn old noah marvelled greatly at this weltering world that shone so stately drowning deep the rivers and the plains through the stillness came a rippling breeze noah sighed remembering the green trees clear along the morning stooped a bird lit beside him with a blossomed sprig earth was saved and noah danced a jig nineteen fifteen end of poem this recording is in the public domain Daybreak in a Garden by Siegfried Sassoon Read for LibriVox.org I heard the farm cocks crowing Loud and faint and thin When hooded night was going And one clear planet winked I heard shrill notes begin Down the spired wood distinct When cloudy shoals were chinked And gilt with fires of day white misted was the weald the lawns were silver gray the lark his lonely field for heaven had forsaken and the wind upon its way whispered the boughs of may and touched the nodding peony flowers to bid them waken nineteen fifteen End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Night Peace by Siegfried Sassoon Read for LibriVox.org Ye hooded witches, baleful shapes that moan, Quench your fantastic lanterns and be still for now the moon through heaven sails alone shedding her peaceful rays from hill to hill the fawn from out his dim and secret place draws nigh the darkling pool and from his dream half wakens seeing there his sylvan face reflected and the wistful eyes that gleam to his cold lips he sets the pipe to blow some drowsy note that charms the listening air the dryads from their trees come down and creep near to his side monotonous and low he plays and plays till all the woodside there stirs to the voice of everlasting sleep nineteen eleven End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. An Old French Poet by Siegfried Sassoon Read for LibriVox.org When in your sober mood my body ye have laid In sight and sound of things beloved, woodland and stream, and the green turf has hidden the poor bones ye deem no more a close companion with those rhymes we made then if some bird should pipe or breezes stir the glade thinking them for the while my voice so let them seem a fading message from the misty shores of dream or wheresoever following death my feet have strayed nineteen o eight end of poem this recording is in the public domain morning glory by siegfried sassoon read for librivox.org 
in this meadow starred with spring shepherds kneel before their king mary throned with dreaming eyes gowned in blue like rain-washed skies lifts her tiny son that he may behold their courtesy and green-smocked children awed and good bring him blossoms from the wood clear the sunlit steeples chime mary's coronation time loud the happy children choir to the golden windowed morn while the lord of their desire sleeps below the crimson thorn nineteen fifteen end of poem this recording is in the public domain a poplar and the moon by siegfried sassoon read for librivox .org. there stood a poplar tall and straight the fair round moon uprisen late made the long shadow on the grass a ghostly bridge twixt heaven and me but may with slumberous nights must pass and blustering winds will strip the tree and i've no magic to express the moment of that loveliness so from these words you'll never guess the stars and lilies i could see nineteen sixteen end of poem this recording is in the public domain. Wind in the Beech Wood by Siegfried Sassoon Read for LibriVox.org The glorying forest shakes and swings With glancing of boughs that dip and strain young slanting sprays beckon and shift like lissom creatures dancing while the blown beechwood streams with drifting rays rooted in steadfast calm gray stems are seen like weather-beaten masts the wood unfurled seems as a ship with crowding sails of green that sweeps across the lonely billowing world o oh, luminous and lovely let your flowers your ageless squadron wings your surge and gleam drown me in quivering brightness let me fade in the warm rustling music of the hours that guard your ancient wisdom till my dream moves with the chant and whisper of the glade nineteen sixteen end of poem this recording is in the public domain nimrod in september by siegfried sassoon read for librivox .org. when half the drowsy world's abed and misty morning rises red with jollity of horn and lusty cheer young nimrod urges on his dwindling rout along the yellowing coverts we can hear his horse's hoofs thud hither and about in mulberry coat he rides and makes huge clamour in the sultry brakes nineteen thirteen end of poem this recording is in the public domain. Wisdom by Siegfried Sassoon Read for LibriVox.org When wisdom tells me that the world's a speck Lost on the shoreless blue of God's today, I smile and think, for every man his way, The world's my ship, and i'm alone on deck and when he tells me that the world's a spark lit in the whistling gloom of god's to-night 
i look within me to the edge of dark and dream the world's my field and i'm the lark alone with upward song alone with light nineteen fifteen end of poem this recording is in the public domain alone by siegfried sassoon read for librivox dot org i've listened and all the sounds i heard were music wind and stream and bird with youth who sang from hill to hill i've listened my heart is hungry still i've looked the morning world was green bright roofs and towers of town i've seen and stars wheeling through wingless night i've looked and my soul yet longs for light i've thought but in my sense survives only the impulse of those lives that were my making hear me say i've thought and darkness hides my day End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. A Mystic as Soldier by Siegfried Sassoon. Read for LibriVox.org. I lived my days apart, dreaming fair songs for God by the glory in my heart, covered and crowned and shod now god is in the strife and i must seek him there where death outnumbers life and fury smites the air i walk the secret way with anger in my brain o oh, music through my clay when will you sound again nineteen sixteen End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. To My Brother by Siegfried Sassoon Read for LibriVox.org Give me your hand, my brother. Search my face. Look in these eyes, lest I should think of shame for we have made an end of all things base we are returning by the road we came your lot is with the ghosts of soldiers dead and i am in the field where men must fight but in the gloom i see your laurelled head and through your victory i shall win the light nineteen fifteen end of poem this recording is in the public domain before the battle by siegfried sassoon read for librivox dot org music of whispering trees hushed by a broad-winged breeze where shaken water gleams and evening radiance falling with reedy bird notes calling oh bear me safe through dark you low-voiced streams i have no need to pray that fear may pass away i scorn the growl and rumble of the fight that summons me from cool silence of marsh and pool and yellow lilies islanded in light o river of stars and shadows lead me through the night nineteen sixteen end of poem this recording is in the public domain when i'm among a blaze of lights by siegfried sassoon read for librivox.org 
when i'm among a blaze of lights with tawdry music and cigars and women dawdling through delights and officers at cocktail bars sometimes i think of garden nights and elm trees nodding at the stars i dream of a small firelit room with yellow candles burning straight and glowing pictures in the gloom and kindly books that hold me late of things like these i love to think when i can never be alone then someone says another drink and turns my living heart to stone 1916 end of poem this recording is in the public domain Dreamers by Siegfried Sassoon Read for LibriVox.org Soldiers are citizens of death's grey land, Drawing no dividend from time's tomorrows. In the great hour of destiny they stand, Each with his feuds and jealousies and sorrows soldiers are sworn to action they must win some flaming fatal climax with their lives soldiers are dreamers when the guns begin they think of firelit homes clean beds and wives i see them in foul dugouts gnawed by rats and in the ruined trenches lashed with rain dreaming of things they did with balls and bats and mocked by hopeless longing to regain bank holidays and picture shows and spats and going to the office in the train 1917 end of poem this recording is in the public domain in the pink by siegfried sassoon read for LibriVox.org. so davies wrote this leaves me in the pink then scrawled his name your loving sweetheart willie with crosses for a hug he'd had a drink of rum and tea and though the barn was chilly for once his blood ran warm he had pay to spend winter was passing soon the year would mend he couldn't sleep that night stiff in the dark he groaned and thought of sundays at the farm when he'd go out as cheerful as a lark in his best suit to wander arm in arm with brown-eyed gwen and whisper in her ear the simple silly things she liked to hear and then he thought to-morrow night we trudge up to the trenches and my boots are rotten five miles of stodgy clay and freezing sludge and everything but wretchedness forgotten to-night he's in the pink but soon he'll die and still the war goes on he don't know why nineteen sixteen end of poem this recording is in the public domain the redeemer by siegfried sassoon read for librivox dot org darkness the rain sluiced down the mire was deep it was past twelve on a midwinter night when peaceful folk in beds lay snug asleep there with much work to do before the light we lugged our clay-sucked boots as best we might along the trench sometimes a bullet sang and droning shells burst with a hollow bang we were soaked chilled and wretched every one darkness the distant wink of a huge gun i turned in the black ditch loathing the storm 
a rocket fizzed and burned with blanching flare and lit the face of what had been a form floundering in murk he stood before me there i say that he was christ stiff in the glare and leaning forward from his burdening task both arms supporting it his eyes on mine stared from the woeful head that seemed a mask of mortal pain in hell's unholy shine no thorny crown only a woollen cap he wore an english soldier white and strong who loved his time like any simple chap good days of work and sport and homely song now he has learned that nights are very long and dawn a watching of the windowed sky but to the end unjudging he'll endure horror and pain not uncontent to die that lancaster on loon may stand secure he faced me reeling in his weariness shouldering his load of planks so hard to bear i say that he was christ who wrought to bless all groping things with freedom bright as air and with his mercy washed and made them fair then the flame sank and all grew black as pitch while we began to struggle along the ditch and someone flung his burden in the muck mumbling o oh christ almighty now i'm stuck nineteen sixteen End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Wirers by Siegfried Sassoon. Read for LibriVox.org. Pass it along, the wiring party's going out, and yawning sentries mumble. Wirers going out, unraveling, twisting hammering stakes with muffled thud they toil with stealthy haste and anger in their blood the bosch sends up a flare black forms stand rigid there stalk still like posts then darkness and the clumsy ghosts stride thither and thither whispering tripped by clutching snare of snags and tangles ghastly dawn with vaporous coasts gleams desolate along the sky night's misery ended young hughes was badly hit i heard him carried away moaning at every lurch no doubt he'll die to-day but we can say the front-line wire's been safely mended nineteen seventeen End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. A Working Party by Siegfried Sassoon. Read for LibriVox.org. Three hours ago he blundered up the trench, sliding and poising, groping with his boots. Sometimes he tripped and lurched against the walls with hands that pawed the sodden bags of chalk he couldn't see the man who walked in front only he heard the drum and rattle of feet stepping along the trench boards often splashing wretchedly where the sludge was ankle deep voices would grunt keep to your right make way when squeezing past the men from the front line white faces peered puffing a point of red candles and braziers glinted through the chinks and curtain flaps of dugouts then the gloom swallowed his sense of sight he stooped and swore because a sagging wire had caught his neck a flare went up the shining whiteness spread and flickered upward showing nimble rats and mounds of glimmering sandbags bleached with rain 
then the slow silver moment died in dark the wind came posting by with chilly gusts and buffeting at corners piping thin and dreary through the crannies rifle shots would split and crack and sing along the night and shells came calmly through the drizzling air to burst with hollow bang below the hill three hours ago he stumbled up the trench now he will never walk that road again he must be carried back a jolting lump beyond all need of tenderness and care a nine-stone corpse with nothing more to do he was a young man with a meagre wife and two pale children in a midland town he showed the photograph to all his mates and they considered him a decent chap who did his work and hadn't much to say and always laughed at other people's jokes because he hadn't any of his own that night when he was busy at his job of piling bags along the parapet he thought how slow time went stamping his feet and blowing on his fingers pinched with cold he thought of getting back by half-past twelve and a tot of rum to send him warm to sleep in draughty dugout frowsty with the fumes of coke and full of snoring weary men he pushed another bag along the top craning his body outward then a flare gave one white glimpse of no man's land and wire and as he dropped his head the instant split his startled life with lead and all went out nineteen sixteen end of poem this recording is in the public domain stand to good friday morning by siegfried sassoon read for librivox dot org i'd been on duty from two till four i went and stared at the dugout door down in the frost i heard them snore stand to somebody grunted and swore dawn was misty the skies were still larks were singing discordant shrill they seemed happy but i felt ill deep in water i splashed my way up the trench to our bogged front line rain had fallen the whole damned night oh jesus send me a wound to-day and i'll believe in your bread and wine and get my bloody old sins washed white nineteen sixteen end of poem this recording is in the public domain they by siegfried sassoon read for librivox dot org the bishop tells us when the boys come back they will not be the same for they'll have fought in a just cause they lead the last attack on antichrist their comrades blood has bought new right to breed an honourable race they have challenged death and dared him face to face we're none of us the same the boys reply for george lost both his legs and bill stone blind poor jim shot through the lungs and like to die and bert's gone syphilitic you'll not find a chap who served that hasn't found some change and the bishop said the ways of god are strange nineteen sixteen End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Base Details by Siegfried Sassoon. Read for LibriVox.org. If I were fierce and bald and short of breath, I'd live with scarlet majors at the base and speed glum heroes up the line to death 
you'd see me with my puffy petulant face guzzling and gulping in the best hotel reading the roll of honor poor young chap i'd say i used to know his father well yes we've lost heavily in this last scrap and when the war is done and youth stone dead i toddle safely home and die in bed nineteen seventeen end of poem this recording is in the public domain blighters by siegfried sassoon read for LibriVox.org. the house is crammed tear beyond tear they grin and cackle at the show while prancing ranks of harlots shrill the chorus drunk with din we're sure the kaiser loves the dear old tanks i'd like to see a tank come down the stalls lurching to ragtime tunes or home sweet home and there'd be no more jokes in music halls to mock the riddled corpses round bap home nineteen sixteen end of poem this recording is in the public domain the general by siegfried sassoon read for librivox dot org good morning good morning the general said when we met him last week on our way to the line now the soldiers he smiled at are most of em dead and were cursing his staff for incompetent swine he's a cheery old card grunted harry to jack as they slogged up to arras with rifle and pack but he did for them both by his plan of attack nineteen seventeen end of poem this recording is in the public domain trench duty by Siegfried Sassoon. Read for LibriVox.org. Shaken from sleep and numbed and scarce awake, out in the trench with three hours' watch to take, I blunder through the splashing murk and then hear the gruff muttering voices of the men crouching in cabins candle chinked with light. Hark! There's a big bombardment on our right rumbling and bumping and the dark's a glare of flickering horror in the sectors where we raid the bosch men waiting stiff and chilled or crawling on their bellies through the wire what stretcher bearers wanted someone killed five minutes ago i heard a sniper fire why did he do it starlight overhead blank stars i'm wide awake and some chaps dead nineteen seventeen end of poem this recording is in the public domain the dugout by siegfried sassoon read for librivox dot org why do you lie with your legs ungainly huddled and one arm bent across your sullen cold exhausted face it hurts my heart to watch you deep shadowed from the candle's guttering gold and you wonder why i shake you by the shoulder drowsy you mumble and sigh and shift your head you are too young to fall asleep for ever and when you sleep you remind me of the dead nineteen eighteen end of poem this recording is in the public domain at carnois by siegfried sassoon read for librivox dot org down in the hollow there's the whole brigade 
camped in four groups through twilight falling slow i hear a sound of mouth organs ill played and murmur of voices gruff confused and low crouched among thistle tufts i've watched the glow of a blurred orange sunset flare and fade and i'm content to-morrow we must go to take some cursed wood o world god made nineteen sixteen end of poem this recording is in the public domain attack by siegfried sassoon read for LibriVox.org. at dawn the ridge emerges massed and done in the wild purple of the glowering sun smouldering through spouts of drifting smoke that shroud the menacing scarred slope and one by one tanks creep and topple forward to the wire the barrage roars and lifts then clumsily bowed with bombs and guns and shovels and battle gear men jostle and climb to meet the bristling fire lines of grey muttering faces masked with fear they leave their trenches going over the top while time ticks blank and busy on their wrists and hope with furtive eyes and grappling fists flounders in mud oh jesu make it stop nineteen seventeen End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Counter Attack by Siegfried Sassoon. Read for LibriVox.org. We'd gained our first objective hours before, while dawn broke like a face with blinking eyes, pallid, unshaved, and thirsty, blind with smoke things seemed all right at first we held their line with bombers posted lewis guns well placed and clink of shovels deepening the shallow trench the place was rotten with dead green clumsy legs high booted sprawled and groveled along the saps and trunks face downward in the sucking mud wallowed like trodden sandbags loosely filled and naked sodden buttocks mats of hair bulged clotted heads slept in the plastering slime and then the rain began the jolly old rain a yawning soldier knelt against the bank staring across the morning blear with fog he wondered when the alamans would get busy and then of course they started with five nines traversing sure as fate and never a dud mute in the clamour of shells he watched them burst spouting dark earth and wire with gusts from hell while posturing giants dissolved in drifts of smoke he crouched and flinched dizzy with galloping fear sick for escape loathing the strangled horror and butchered frantic gestures of the dead an officer came blundering down the trench stand to and man the fire-step on he went gasping and bawling fire-step counter-attack then the haze lifted bombing on the right down the old sap machine-guns on the left and stumbling figures looming out in front oh christ they're coming at us bullets spat and he remembered his rifle rapid fire and started blazing wildly then a bang crumpled and spun him sideways knocked him out to grunt and wriggle none heeded him he choked and fought the flapping veils of smothering gloom lost in a blurred confusion of yells and groans down and down and down he sank and drowned bleeding to death the counter-attack had failed 
1917. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Rear Guard by Siegfried Sassoon. Read for LibriVox.org. Hindenburg Line, April 1917. Groping along the tunnel, step by step, he winked his prying torch with patching glare from side to side and sniffed the unwholesome air. Tins, boxes, bottles, shapes too vague to know, a mirror smashed the mattress from a bed, and he, exploring fifty feet below the rosy gloom of battle overhead, tripping he grabbed the wall saw some one lie humped at his feet half hidden by a rug and stooped to give the sleeper's arm a tug i'm looking for headquarters no reply god blast your neck for days he'd had no sleep get up and guide me through the stinking place savage he kicked a soft unanswering heap and flashed his beam across the livid face terribly glaring up whose eyes yet wore agony dying hard ten days before and fists of fingers clutched a blackening wound alone he staggered on until he found dawn's ghost that filtered down a shafted stair to the dazed muttering creatures underground who hear the boom of shells in muffled sound at last with sweat of horror in his hair he climbed through darkness to the twilight air unloading hell behind him step by step nineteen seventeen end of poem this recording is in the public domain Suicide in Trenches by Siegfried Sassoon Read for LibriVox.org I knew a simple soldier boy Who grinned at life in empty joy, Slept soundly through the lonesome dark, And whistled early with the lark, In winter trenches cowed and glum, With crumps and lice and lack of rum, He put a bullet through his brain, no one spoke of him again you smug-faced crowds with kindling eye who cheer when soldier lads march by sneak home and pray you'll never know the hell where youth and laughter go nineteen seventeen end of poem this recording is in the public domain Remorse by Siegfried Sassoon Read for LibriVox.org Lost in the swamp and welter of the pit, He flounders off the duckboards. Only he knows each flash and spouting crash, Each instant lit when bloom reveals the streaming rain. He goes heavily, blindly on, And while he blunders, Could anything be worse than this? He wonders remembering how he saw those germans run screaming for mercy among the stumps of trees green-faced they dodged and darted there was one livid with terror clutching at his knees our chaps were sticking em like pigs oh hell he thought there's things in war one dare not tell poor father sitting safe at home who reads of dying heroes and their deathless deeds 1917 End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Hawthorn Tree by Siegfried Sassoon Read for LibriVox.org Not much to me is yonder lane Where I go every day but when there's been a shower of rain and hedge birds whistle gay i know my lad that's out in france with fearsome things to see 
would give his eyes for just one glance at our white hawthorn tree not much to me is yonder lane where he so longs to tread but when there's been a shower of rain i think i'll never weep again until i've heard he's dead nineteen seventeen end of poem this recording is in the public domain glory of women by siegfried sassoon read for librivox dot org you love us when we're heroes home on leave or wounded in a mentionable place you worship decorations you believe that chivalry redeems the war's disgrace you make us shells you listen with delight by tales of dirt and danger fondly thrilled you crown our distant ardors while we fight and mourn our laurelled memories when we're killed you can't believe that british troops retire when hell's last horror breaks them and they run trampling the terrible corpses blind with blood o oh, german mother dreaming by the fire while you are knitting socks to send your son his face is trodden deeper in the mud nineteen seventeen end of poem this recording is in the public domain lamentations by siegfried sassoon read for LibriVox.org. i found him in a guard-room at the base from the blind darkness i had heard his crying and blundered in with puzzled patient face a sergeant watched him it was no good trying to stop it for he howled and beat his chest and all because his brother had gone west raved at the bleeding war his rampant grief moaned shouted sobbed and choked while he was kneeling half naked on the floor in my belief such men have lost all patriotic feeling nineteen seventeen end of poem this recording is in the public domain. The Effect by Siegfried Sassoon Read for LibriVox.org The effect of our bombardment was terrific. One man told me he had never seen so many dead before. War Correspondent He'd never seen so many dead before they sprawled in yellow daylight while he swore and gasped and lugged his everlasting load of bombs along what once had been a road how peaceful are the dead who put that silly gag in someone's head he'd never seen so many dead before the lilting words danced up and down his brain while corpses jumped and capered in the rain no no he wouldn't count them any more the dead have done with pain they've choked they can't come back to life again when dick was killed last week he looked like that flapping along the fire step like a fish after the blazing crump had knocked him flat how many dead as many as ever you wish don't count em they're too many who'll buy my nice fresh corpses to a penny nineteen seventeen end of poem this recording is in the public domain died of wounds by siegfried sassoon read for librivox dot org his wet white face and miserable eyes brought nurses to him more than groans and sighs 
but hoarse and low and rapid rose and fell his troubled voice he did the business well the ward grew dark but he was still complaining and calling out for dicky curse the wood it's time to go oh christ and what's the good we'll never take it and it's always raining i wondered where he'd been then heard him shout they snipe like hell oh dicky don't go out i fell asleep next morning he was dead and some slight wound lay smiling on his bed nineteen sixteen End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Autumn by Siegfried Sassoon. Read for LibriVox.org. October's bellowing anger breaks and cleaves the bronzed battalions of the stricken wood, in whose lament I hear a voice that grieves for battle's fruitless harvest and the feud of outraged men. Their lives are like the leaves scattered in flocks of ruin, tossed and blown along the westering furnace flaring red. O oh, martyred youth and manhood overthrown, the burden of your wrongs is on my head. 1917 End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Twelve Months After by Siegfried Sassoon Read for LibriVox.org Hello, here's my platoon, the lot I had last year. The war'll be over soon, what hopes? no bloody fear then number seven shun all present and correct they're standing in the sun impassive and erect young gibson with his grin and morgan tired and white jordan who's out to win a dcm some night and hughes that's keen on wiring and davies seventy nine who always must be firing at the bosch front line old soldiers never die they simply fight a why that's what they used to sing along the roads last spring that's what they used to say before the push began that's where they are today knocked over to a man nineteen seventeen end of poem this recording is in the public domain does it matter by siegfried sassoon read for librivox dot org does it matter losing your legs for people will always be kind and you need not show that you mind when the others come in after football to gobble their muffins and eggs does it matter losing your sight there's such splendid work for the blind and people will always be kind as you sit on the terrace remembering and turning your face to the light do they matter those dreams from the pit you can drink and forget and be glad and people won't say that you're mad for they'll know that you fought for your country and no one will worry a bit 1917 End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. To Any Dead Officer by Siegfried Sassoon Read for LibriVox.org Well, how are things in heaven? I wish you'd say, because I'd like to know that you're all right tell me have you found everlasting day or been sucked in by everlasting night for when i shut my eyes your face shows plain 
i hear you make some cheery old remark i can rebuild you in my brain though you've gone out patrolling in the dark you hated tours of trenches you were proud of nothing more than having good years to spend longed to get home and join the careless crowd of chaps who work in peace with time for friend that's all washed out now you're beyond the wire no earthly chance can send you crawling back you finished with machine-gun fire knocked over in a hopeless dud attack somehow i always thought you'd get done in because you were so desperate keen to live you were all out to try and save your skin well knowing how much the world had got to give you joked at shells and talked the usual shop stuck to your dirty job and did it fine with jesus christ when will it stop three years it's hell unless we break their line so when they told me you'd been left for dead i wouldn't believe them feeling it must be true next week the bloody roll of honor said wounded and missing that's the thing to do when lads are left in shell holes dying slow with nothing but blank sky and wounds that ache moaning for water till they know it's night and then it's not worth while to wake good-bye old lad remember me to god and tell him that our politicians swear they won't give in till prussian rules been trod under the heel of england are you there yes and the war won't end for at least two years but we've got stacks of men i'm blind with tears staring into the dark cheero i wish they'd killed you in a decent show 1917 end of poem this recording is in the public domain sick leave by siegfried sassoon read for LibriVox.org. when i'm asleep dreaming and lulled and warm they come the homeless ones the noiseless dead while the dim charging breakers of the storm bellow and drone and rumble overhead out of the gloom they gather about my bed they whisper to my heart their thoughts are mine why are you here with all your watches ended from ypres to freeze we sought you in the line in bitter safety i awake unfriended and while the dawn begins with slashing rain i think of the battalion in the mud when are you going out to them again are they not still your brothers through our blood 1917 end of poem this recording is in the public domain banishment by siegfried sassoon read for librivox dot org i am banished from the patient men who fight they smote my heart to pity built my pride shoulder to aching shoulder side by side they trudged away from life's broad wields of light their wrongs were mine and ever in my sight they went arrayed in honor but they died not one by one and mutinous i cried to those who sent them out into the night the darkness tells how vainly i have striven to free them from the pit where they must dwell in outcast gloom convulsed and jagged and riven by grappling guns love drove me to rebel love drives me back to grope with them through hell and in their tortured eyes i stand forgiven 1917 end of poem this recording is in the public domain
Dead Musicians by Siegfried Sassoon Read for LibriVox.org From you, Beethoven, Bach, Mozart, The substance of my dreams took fire, You built cathedrals in my heart And lit my pinnacled desire. You were the ardor and the bright procession Of my thoughts toward prayer. You were the wrath of storm, the light on distant citadels a flare great names i cannot find you now in these loud years of youth that strives through doom towards peace upon my brow i wear a wreath of banished lives you have no part with lads who fought and laughed and suffered at my side your fugues and symphonies have brought no memory of my friends who died for when my brain is on their track in slangy speech i call them back with fox-trot tunes their ghosts i charm another little drink won't do us any harm i think of ragtime a bit of ragtime and see their faces crowding round to the sound of the syncopated beat they've got such jolly things to tell home from hell with a blighty wound so neat and so the song breaks off and i'm alone they're dead for god's sake stop that gramophone nineteen seventeen end of poem this recording is in the public domain Repression of War Experience by Siegfried Sassoon Read for LibriVox.org Now light the candles, one, two, there's a moth. What silly beggars they are to blunder in and scorch their wings with glory. Liquid flame. No, no, not that. It's bad to think of war when thoughts you've gagged all day come back to scare you. And it's been proved that soldiers don't go mad unless they lose control of ugly thoughts that drive them out to jabber among the trees. Now light your pipe. Look, what a steady hand. Draw a deep breath. Stop thinking. Count fifteen, and you're as right as rain why won't it rain i wish there'd be a thunderstorm tonight with buckets full of water to sluice the dark and make the roses hang their dripping heads books what a jolly company they are standing so quiet and patient on their shelves dressed in dim brown and black and white and green and every kind of color which will you read come on oh do read something they're so wise i tell you all the wisdom of the world is waiting for you on those shelves and yet you sit and gnaw your nails and let your pipe out and listen to the silence on the ceiling there's one big dizzy moth that bumps and flutters and in the breathless air outside the house the garden waits for something that delays there must be crowds of ghosts among the trees not people killed in battle they're in france but horrible shapes in shrouds old men who died slow natural deaths old men with ugly souls who wore their bodies out with nasty sins you're quiet and peaceful summering safe at home you'd never think there was a bloody war on oh yes you would why you can hear the guns hark thud 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 quite soft they never cease those whispering guns oh christ i want to go out and screech at them to stop i'm going crazy i'm going stark staring mad because of the guns 1917 End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Survivors 
by Siegfried Sassoon. Read for LibriVox.org. No doubt they'll soon get well. The shock and strain have caused their stammering, disconnected talk. Of course they're longing to go out again. These boys with old scarred faces, learning to walk. They'll soon forget their haunted nights, their cowed subjection to the ghosts of friends who died, their dreams that drip with murder, and they'll be proud of glorious war that shattered all their pride. Men who went out to battle, grim and glad, children with eyes that hate you, broken and mad. 1917 End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Memorial Tablet by Siegfried Sassoon Read for LibriVox.org Great War Squire nagged and bullied till I went to fight Under Lord Darby's scheme. I died in hell. They called it Passchendaele. My wound was slight, and I was hobbling back, and then a shell burst slick upon the dockboards. So I fell into the bottomless mud and lost the light. In sermon time, while Squire is in his pew, he gives my gilded name a thoughtful stare, for though low down upon the list, I'm there. In proud and glorious memory, that's my due. Two bleeding years I fought in France for Squire. I suffered anguish that he's never guessed. Once I came home on leave, and then went west. What greater glory could a man desire? 1918 End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Concert Party by Siegfried Sassoon Read for LibriVox.org Egyptian Base Camp They are gathering round Out of the twilight over the grey-blue sand Shoals of low-jargoning men drift inward to the sound The jangle and throb of a piano Tom to Tom Drawn by a lamp they come out of the glimmering lines of their tents over the shuffling sand oh sing us the songs the songs of our own land you warbling ladies in white dimness conceals the hunger in our faces this wall of faces risen out of the night these eyes that keep their memories of the places so long beyond their sight jaded and gay the ladies sing and the chap in brown tilts his grey hat jaunty and lean and pale he rattles the keys some actor bloke from town god send you home and then a long long trail i hear you calling me and dixieland sing slowly now the chorus one by one we hear them drink them till the concert's done silent i watch the shadowy mass of soldiers stand silent they drift away over the glimmering sand nineteen eighteen End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. I Stood with the Dead by Siegfried Sassoon Read for LibriVox.org I stood with the dead, so forsaken and still, When dawn was grey, I stood with the dead, And my slow heart said, you must kill, you must kill. Soldier, soldier, morning is red. 
on the shapes of the slain in their crumpled disgrace i stared for a while through the thin cold rain o oh, lad that i loved there is rain on your face and your eyes are blurred and sick like the plain i stood with the dead they were dead they were dead my heart and my head beat a march of dismay and gusts of the wind came dulled by the guns fall in i shouted fall in for your pay nineteen eighteen end of poem this recording is in the public domain the death bed by siegfried sassoon read for librivox dot org he drowsed and was aware of silence heaped round him unshaken as the steadfast walls aqueous like floating rays of amber light soaring and quivering in the wings of sleep silence and safety and his mortal shore lipped by the inward moonless waves of death some one was holding water to his mouth he swallowed unresisting moaned and dropped through crimson gloom to darkness and forgot the opiate throb and ache that was his wound water calm sliding green above the weir water a sky-lit alley for his boat bird-voiced and bordered with reflected flowers and shaken hues of summer drifting down he dipped contented oars and sighed and slept night with a gust of wind was in the ward blowing the curtain to a glimmering curve night he was blind he could not see the stars glinting among the wraiths of wandering cloud queer blots of color purple scarlet green flickered and faded in his drowning eyes rain he could hear it rustling through the dark fragrance and passionless music woven as one warm rain on drooping roses pattering showers that soak the woods not the harsh rain that sweeps behind the thunder but a trickling peace gently and slowly washing life away he stirred shifting his body then the pain leaped like a prowling beast and gripped and tore his groping dreams with grinding claws and fangs but some one was beside him soon he lay shuddering because that evil thing had passed and death who'd stepped toward him paused and stared light many lamps and gather round his bed lend him your eyes warm blood and will to live speak to him rouse him you may save him yet he's young he hated war how should he die when cruel old campaigners win safe through but death replied i choose him so he went and there was silence in the summer night silence and safety and the veils of sleep then far away the thudding of the guns nineteen sixteen end of poem this recording is in the public domain song books of the war by siegfried sassoon read for librivox dot org in fifty years when peace outshines remembrance of the battle lines adventurous lads will sigh and cast proud looks upon the plundered past on summer morn or winter's night their hearts will kindle for the fight reading a snatch of soldier song savage and jaunty fierce and strong and through the angry marching rhymes of blind regret and haggard mirth 
they'll envy us the dazzling times when sacrifice absolved our earth some ancient man with silver locks will lift his weary face to say war was a fiend who stopped our clocks although we met him grim and gay and then he'll speak of haig's last drive marvelling that any came alive out of the shambles that men built and smashed to cleanse the world of guilt but the boys with grim and sidelong glance will think poor grandad's day is done and dream of lads who fought in france and lived in time to share the fun nineteen seventeen End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Reconciliation by Siegfried Sassoon. Read for LibriVox.org. When you are standing at your hero's grave or near some homeless village where he died, remember through your heart's rekindling pride the german soldiers who were loyal and brave men fought like brutes and hideous things were done and you have nourished hatred harsh and blind but in that golgotha perhaps you'll find the mothers of the men who killed your son nineteen eighteen end of poem this recording is in the public domain. Aftermath by Siegfried Sassoon Read for LibriVox.org Have you forgotten yet? For the world's events have rumbled on since those gagged days, like traffic checked a while at the crossing of city ways and the haunted gap in your mind has filled with thoughts that flow like clouds in the lit heaven of life and you're a man reprieved to go taking your peaceful share of time with joy to spare but the past is just the same and war's a bloody game have you forgotten yet look down and swear by the slain of the war that you'll never forget do you remember the dark months you held the sector at mametz the nights you watched and wired and dug and piled sandbags on parapets do you remember the rats and the stench of corpses rotting in front of the front-line trench and dawn coming dirty white and chill with a hopeless rain do you ever stop and ask is it all going to happen again do you remember that hour of din before the attack and the anger the blind compassion that seized and shook you then as you peered at the doomed and haggard faces of your men do you remember the stretcher cases lurching back with dying eyes and lolling heads those ashen gray masks of the lads who once were keen and kind and gay have you forgotten yet look up and swear by the green of the spring that you'll never forget nineteen nineteen End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Memory by Siegfried Sassoon. Read for LibriVox.org. When I was young, my heart and head were light, and I was gay and feckless as a colt out in the fields, with morning in the May, wind on the grass wings in the orchard bloom oh thrilling sweet my joy when life was free and all the paths led on from hawthorn time across the caroling meadows into june but now my heart is heavy laden i sit burning my dreams away beside the fire and i am rich in all that i have lost 
o starshine on the fields of long ago bring me the darkness and the nightingale dim wields of vanished summer peace of home and silence and the faces of my friends nineteen nineteen end of poem this recording is in the public domain together by siegfried sassoon read for LibriVox.org. splashing along the boggy woods all day and over brambled hedge and holding clay i shall not think of him but when the watery fields grow brown and dim and hounds have lost their fox and horses tire i know that he'll be with me on my way home through the darkness to the evening fire he's jumped each stile along the glistening lanes his hand will be upon the mud-soaked reins hearing the saddle creak he'll wonder if the frost will come next week i shall forget him in the morning light and while we gallop on he will not speak but at the stable door he'll say good night nineteen seventeen end of poem this recording is in the public domain wraiths by siegfried sassoon read for librivox dot org they know not the green leaves in whose earth haunting dream dimly the forest heaves and voiceless goes the stream strangely they seek a place in love's night memoried hall peering from face to face until some heart shall call and keep them for a breath half mortal hark to the rain they are dead oh hear how death gropes on the shuttered pane nineteen eighteen end of poem this recording is in the public domain ancient history by siegfried sassoon read for librivox dot org adam a brown old vulture in the rain shivered below his wind-whipped olive trees huddling sharp chin on scarred and scraggy knees he moaned and mumbled to his darkening brain he was the grandest of them all was cain a lion laired in the hills that none could tire swift as a stag a stallion of the plain hungry and fierce with deeds of huge desire grimly he thought of abel soft and fair a lover with disaster in his face and scarlet blossom twisted in bright hair afraid to fight was murder more disgrace god always hated cain he bowed his head the gaunt wild man whose lovely sons were dead nineteen eighteen end of poem this recording is in the public domain invocation by siegfried sassoon read for librivox dot org come down from heaven to meet me when my breath chokes and through drumming shafts of stifling death i stumble toward escape to find the door opening on morn where i may breathe once more clear cockcrow airs across some valley dim with whispering trees while dawn along the rim of night's horizon flows in lakes of fire come down from heaven's bright hill my song's desire beloved and faithful teach my soul to wake in glades deep ranked with flowers that gleam and shake and flock your paths with wonder 
in your gaze show me the vanquished vigil of my days mute in that golden silence hung with green come down from heaven and bring me in your eyes remembrance of all beauty that has been and stillness from the pools of paradise nineteen seventeen End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Idol by Siegfried Sassoon. Read for LibriVox.org. In the gray summer garden I shall find you, with daybreak and the morning hills behind you. There will be rain wet roses, stir of wings and down the wood a thrush that wakes and sings not from the past you'll come but from that deep where beauty murmurs to the soul asleep and i shall know the sense of life reborn from dreams into the mystery of morn where gloom and brightness meet and standing there till that calm song is done at last we'll share the league-spread choiring symphonies that are joy in the world and peace and dawn's one star nineteen eighteen end of poem this recording is in the public domain slumber song by siegfried sassoon Read for LibriVox.org. Sleep, and my song shall build about your bed a paradise of dimness. You shall feel the folding of tired wings, and peace will dwell throned in your silence. And one hour shall hold summer and midnight, an immensity lulled to forgetfulness for where you dream the stately gloom of foliage shall embower your slumbering thought with tapestries of blue and there shall be no memory of the sky nor sunlight with its cruelty of swords but to your soul that sinks from deep to deep through drowned and glimmering colour time shall be only slow rhythmic swaying and your breath and roses in the darkness and my love nineteen eighteen end of poem this recording is in the public domain vision by siegfried sassoon read for librivox dot org I love all things that pass. Their briefness is music that fades on transient silences. Winds, birds, and glittering leaves that flare and fall, they fling delight across the world. They call to rhythmic flashing limbs that rove and race. A moment in the dawn for youth's lit face, a moment's passion closing on the cry o oh, beauty born of lovely things that die nineteen eighteen end of poem this recording is in the public domain every one sang by siegfried sassoon read for librivox dot org everyone suddenly burst out singing and i was filled with such delight as prisoned birds must find in freedom winging wildly across the white orchards and dark green fields on on and out of sight everyone's voice was suddenly lifted and beauty came like the setting sun my heart was shaken with tears and horror drifted away oh but every one was a bird and the song was wordless the singing will never be done 
1919. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. End of Selected Poems by Siegfried Sassoon.